Hello guys, today we're going to replace this uh, air filter case or how it calls uh, from the OHV, OHV engine on OHV to the SOX SOHS air filter. The reason I do it is because here in Russia these filters, you see I already took off this hose and this filter it's uh, hard to find in 2022 and uh, it's really costs a lot so it's kind of rarity in Russia now and uh, I don't want to use this crap anymore so I found uh, this case from the air filter of the SOX engine and going to install it you see I already installed filter inside and there is no paper it's uh, some material it's kind of it prevents to dust come into here but it's really light and has no so even if it's kind of clogged a little bit so it's like a, like a zero zero air so now I'm going to disconnect this wiring and uh, somehow get rid of this crap. See, I disconnected this hose. It was not so easy, but I did it. So this is a mass airflow sensor here. Now we gotta get it out of this box. See, I disconnect this uh, wiring harness. From the mass airflow sensor and take it out of this dirty case guys finally i did it was a pain in the ass clip here couple of here one i destroyed because it's impossible to get it out and uh, you see there's a clamp here and this rubber rubber crap this intake I pull out this crap because it's really this case is really too big and I wonder how it's gonna hit fit here now I'm going to try with one with two hands so guys uh, with a lot of effort I pre-installed this and the difficulties is because uh, this vacuum line is interfering guys so you gotta you gotta loosen this shitty, shitty light So you gotta loosen this. This wire with a vacuum line. So it's not going to be interfering in a way. And the most important is this uh, hood button. Because this is interfering in a way. After I connected all the stuff, I trying to to put it on the back on the place so it's like this I just uh, try to close the hood and it's closing but you see it's like it's like almost no place here but now it's on place in uh, we gonna try to connect the hoses and the mass airflow sensor it looks like this and the most exciting is connect this part. Guys, cross your fingers for me. Apparently it didn't work out because you see how much is how much is the difference. We gonna put this on this. No, so apparently we need this soak uh, this uh, hose. This socks hose I'm going to 
buy and uh, re return to this video. So for you it's uh, one second and for me it's like a couple of weeks maybe. So let's go. Guys, now it looks like this. This SOHC engine the hose did not fit here because it's uh, really short. So I got this uh, from VAZ2107. It's a Russian car. I got this hose and I cut this original Ford Explorer OHV hose like this. So now I'm going to like merge these two hoses to finally get this thing done. Finally done and I can proudly say that my Explorer isn't stock anymore. It's modified with a SOHC air filter and you see like this. So I uh, did some Frankenstein. This is a merging of two hoses and sealed with RTV sealant and the ventilation and the sensor is stays on place here made the hole so we're going to give it a good start and we'll see how it works so the first first start Oh, hey, it works. Sucking air, working. This is some reinforcement, guys. This is reinforcement for because this is. You see, I got no cover here. So this is hose don't fall on the fan. Subscribe to the channel, press thumbs up, bye bye. So guys, I got rid of this shit because it can be damaged, can do damage to your radiator here. It's really dangerous. You see, it spins freely. It's not sticking, so it's good. Subscribe to the channel. Press thumbs up. Bye-bye.